They're paid for, they're brought over here, they're disassembled, placed into two to three boxes, and then they're ready for shipment. This area here, this is brand new cabin construction. So in the front we have the R66s, yeah, and this is uh, an R, brand new R66 cabin. So you can see it's mostly made up of light pieces of aluminum, stainless steel, and there will eventually be some fiberglass. You'll see some on the uh, roof there. have cabins. These cabins are ready to go and these will be the next set to go to the assembly line uh, next week. You'll see some that have paint on them back there. Those are overhauls that are ready to get uh, all of their equipment installed. This is a uh, water jet cutter machine. So what this does is it fills up with water and that sand and it makes the water abrasive. Then there's a high pressure nozzle underneath that sponge over there and it's just high water pressure that's doing all the cutting. So you can take a large sheet of aluminum, you can actually take eight to ten sheets at one time and cut out and trace various shapes. Once the process is done, the water gets filtered the metal pieces go into a bin and then the water comes right back in and gets filled up with sand again. So these are coordinate measuring machines. So these check the coordinates of these various parts and make sure that they're accurate and to the correct tolerances. Uh, and they also help speed up the dimensional inspection process. So something that used to be done by hand can now be done very quickly and very accurately. So this is our wiring electrical department, so these are various wiring diagrams, um, and they're all done by hand. Each wire has a serial number stamped on it. Frank was very much about bringing manufacturing in-house instead of outsourcing it. So this wiring electrical department is a very good example about how we brought that in-house instead of outsourced it. Before, we used to have, you could only get one spool at a time print the serial number on it, cut it, and then you'd have to get the next one and cut it, and the next one, and same thing. Now you can have load up 24 spools at one time and have a program say, okay, I want this spool to be this long and with this serial number, and I want that spool to be this long and that serial number, and you have a whole assembly being built at one time instead of each individual one, and then having to group them together. So it saves quite a bit of time. We also use a lot of skylights here so that we don't have to run the electricity for the lights on. Oh. Yeah, so this is all natural lighting. <laughs> okay, say that again, I didn't know. This area here, this is our detail department. So detail as in the paint? It's already painted, but they're doing the yeah, fine detail. Details, yeah, so they're going to treat the leather, vacuum the carpet, wax it, buff it out. Over here is our final assembly line. So you'll see, remember we saw those cabins in the other building? So they wheel down the cabins. So the first thing they're going to do is start adding the landing gear. So they'll add the landing gear and then they're going to push the helicopter down the line and then start adding the various uh, components to it. So you'll see some framing being added, you'll see a main rotor gearbox, you'll see the engines being added, all the avionics, the hydraulic system, tail cone, tail rotor drive shaft, all of that stuff getting installed. From this point on, this is the stock room, and spare parts is a very large part of our business. So we've been rated number one in customer support with various magazines and other publications because we have the best uh, support network, we have the most spare parts, we can provide a lot of spare parts in a short amount of time. So this area, this is flight test. Oh, flight test. Yeah, so these have come out of paint and now they're gonna be um, added, they're gonna add the rotor system to it and then they're gonna be taken outside for their flight test. 
Meg's doing the first startup test run. So this is our export department and 70% of all aircraft sales are exports. So once they're paid for, they're brought over here, they're disassembled, placed into two to three boxes, and then they're ready for shipment. So these boxes back here are all aircraft that are ready to go. So Frank was strategic in keeping the factory here in Torrance, California to the due to the proximity of the uh, Los Angeles International Airport for air shipment and also the port of Los Angeles for sea shipment. So this hangar is where we have our export aircraft. So these aircraft are completed and are, will be delivered to customers throughout the world.